For a lot of people, their image of going to church is that it's boring. There's a movie from about 50 years ago starring the famous comic pairing of Peter Cook and Dudley Moore that picks up on this theme. In the original movie, Bedazzled, Peter Cook plays the devil who's trying to win the soul of Dudley Moore's character. And there's a scene in the film where Dudley Moore asks the devil what heaven is like. Peter Cook, playing the devil, says that it's boring. When Dudley Moore asks why heaven is boring, Peter Cook says that all day long the angels are forced to dance around God saying, you are wonderful, you are magnificent, and after a while that gets dull. And why would God make his creation do that anyway? For some people today, that's what they imagine a church worship service to be. A series of irrelevant rituals that God demands from us simply because he says so, and that those rituals are boring. By the way, it's interesting that this classic British movie comedy has parallels with the Bible when it comes to the battle between Christ and the devil. And just like the devil does in the movie, in the Bible, the devil claims that God is an unfair tyrant. The reality is that God doesn't force us to worship him, nor does he want our worship experiences to be dull. God wants our relationship with him to be based on our own choice and that our choice is based on us understanding his character and also understanding his sacrifices for us. And in the book of Revelation, in chapters 4 and 5, we see a worship scene in heaven that is far from boring. It's a wonderful experience. In these two chapters, we read awe-inspiring scenes of worship with incredible singing. And we also read about a major problem that's dramatically solved by Christ's sacrifice for us. So what does this have to do with going to church and worshipping God? Well, unlike the claims of the devil in the movie Bedazzled, God doesn't demand worship from us. Instead, Revelation says that worshipping our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, happens because we consider him worthy. And he's worthy because of who he is and what he's done. When we understand more deeply God's character of love and his commitment to us, our worship experiences will never be boring again.